I'm Miss Haley with the Huntsville Madison County Public Library and today for our craft I'm going to show you how to make this super cute reindeer bird card for the holidays. So here is our reindeer bird which is a creature of my own invention there and inside we have our little holiday message. We're going to set this guy aside and go over what you need for this project. So, you will need a Sharpie or a felt tip pen. Either will work. A pair of fabric scissors. Some fabric scraps. Um, I think I'm gonna use this red fabric scrap today. You do not need much. You need about a thumb's worth of fabric. So, just a small piece of fabric or a scrap that you have on hand. And then you're going to need some scrapbook paper. So you'll need a sheet of brown craft paper cardstock that has been cut down into two different pieces. This larger piece is four and a half by three and a quarter inches. So we have, I'm going to write these measurements down for us. So we have four and a half inches by three and a quarter inch piece of cardstock right there. And then this smaller one is three and three quarters inches. It's very specifically cut by three inches. And ultimately it doesn't super matter um, the size that you use as long as you have all sizes that work together. So you can resize this card if you want it to be bigger or smaller. You just have to do the math for it. But I'm showing you how um, to do it for mine. And then I have two different colors of card stock um, that are sort of patterned. So this one is the inner piece and it is, let's see, it is five inches by three and a half inches. And then our large, large, large piece of cardstock here is eight and a half inches by five and a half inches. So those are our measurements. Um, this is going to be the outer piece of our card. So this piece right here, we're gonna fold it and make that. This will be the front panel on it. And then inside the card, we will have this piece here and this piece here. So those are our pieces and our measurements for them. And just to go through those again, the big piece is eight and a half by five and a half. The inner piece of colored cardstock is five inches by three and a half inches. The inner piece of brown craft paper is three by three and three quarters. And the outer piece of brown craft paper is three and a quarter by four and a half inches. So those are our pieces that we need. We're gonna go ahead and set them aside. And we're going to start with our big piece. Oh, and you will also need a glue stick for this. I almost forgot to tell y'all about that. You do need a glue stick. You could also use glue dots or double-sided tape. So we are going to start by folding our large piece of cardstock in half, and we're going to fold it in half this way rather than that way. So we're going to line up those edges as best we can and crease. And that is going to form the base of our card. So we are going to attach this to the front, but first we're going to draw some lines on it. I like to draw these lines across that represent snow um, first, because if you draw them on after you've glued on, you run the risk of accidentally running your line off onto the colored cardstock below. And you don't really want to do that. I always do something a little bit different every time I make this card. So it really just depends on how I want to do it. Ooh, my little fine point doesn't work on this one. Let me grab another Sharpie. There we go. So you do need a fine tip on your Sharpie. 
Um, you could probably do it with the other tip, but it'll bleed a lot more. So it helps to have a fine tip Sharpie or a felt tip pen. So I'm just going to run a piece across like that. And then maybe a wavy piece like that. So I do something different every time, um, but it's just to represent kind of snow-capped hills in the background. And we're going to put glue all over, and I do mean all over, the back side of this piece. Like I said, all over. And we're gonna glue it down. We're gonna make sure we glue it down the right way. So the opening of the card is down here, the bottom of my piece is here, and we're gonna glue it down. Trying to get it on straight so that our lines are parallel here. And just press that down. If you find an end is coming up, just peel it up a little, add a little bit more glue. Just make sure you're not bending it too firmly when you do that. Otherwise you might still have some trouble getting it glued down. Double stick tapered glue dots also work really, really well for this. They might even work a little bit better than a glue stick, but here at the library, I just kind of have glue sticks on hand. So now that we've got that part assembled, we're gonna go ahead and open it up and we're gonna do the same thing with these pieces. So I'm gonna put glue all over the back of this and put it inside my card here. And then this one is gonna layer on top of it to give us some space to write on. So, I like to make sure I get my outer edges really good. Sometimes they dry off before I can get it down, but that's okay. So we're gonna put it down. The one good thing about glue over glue dots or double stick tape is that you can adjust it if you accidentally put it on a little crooked you can have some still room to maneuver while the glue is wet and kind of push it um, into the proper place so that is our inner piece we've got our outer piece there and our inner piece here now we just need to add this guy right there in the center so again i'm going to start this time on the center of this so that my edges don't dry before I can get them down. And line it up and press it down. And we are done with our glue for right now. We're gonna need it one more time here in a minute when we attach our uh, fabric piece. But for now we're good. I'm gonna to try to avoid that glue smear that I got right there. So now that we have our card um, put together, we need to make our decoration for the front. So pick out your fabric scrap, whichever one you want, or just what you have on hand. You may not have the, too many options on hand. I have, I have quite a bit. Um, and you're going to, you want a piece about the size of your thumb. And you can cut it a little bit bigger to start but this is why we need our fabric scissors. So I'm going to cut a piece that's just about the width of my thumb. It's really only the thumb print, though, that the, the reindeer board is shaped like. So now I'm going to cut it into kind of an oval shape. I have these fold lines on mine, and I do not have an iron handy, so I'm going to kind of cut those off. We're going to work within those fold lines. So that, as you can see is about the size of my thumb, but a little bigger. So I cut it a little bigger to give me some room for shaping. So our reindeer bird, there he is, is a pretty random shape. I don't worry too much about how I shape him, but I do try to make his bottom a little bit bigger than his top. So he's a little bit pear-shaped. So I'm going to, this is gonna be the bottom, I think, and I'm gonna just round that off a little bit more evenly. And then I'm going to come up and I'm going to cut into the top a little bit and start making him a little bit more pear-shaped. He's actually very pear-shaped. And that will be our 
reindeer bird body. He's going to be have a stockier bottom than this guy did, but that's okay. Every reindeer bird's a little bit different. So then you have to kind of just decide where you want to put them. This one's on the right, but that does not mean that they always have to be there. You can put them in the middle. You can put them off to the side like that one. You can put them over here. Just have to decide where you're going to want your reindeer bird to stand. I think I want mine sort of in the middle, but to the side. I want them right there. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your glue stick up. You're going to make sure you're getting the wrong side of your fabric. So the wrong side of your fabric is the side that does not face up. And you can usually tell because it's a slightly lighter color than the actual front side. So you're going to take that and press it into your glue stick and really just kind of smear glue all over the back of this fabric. Almost a little bit of Mod Podge happening here. And you're going to glue them down and press really good where you want it to be. Make sure that you're being careful of your shape. You can kind of take this opportunity to shape your reindeer bird a little bit because the fabric has been cut um, with no sort of attention to its grain. It's going to be stretchy and movable. So you, to some extent, can shape your fabric a little bit while it's on the card. So I like that. If you are still needing a little bit more, you can kind of put a little glue almost on top of it around the edge and smear it in with your finger a little bit just to help it stick. But it sticks pretty good just with um, glue on the back. So we're going to let that dry for a second and then we are going to add his feet, his beak, and some reindeer antlers. And we might add a wing also. It's still pretty wet. All right, so let me make sure this is the pin that works. Yep. And we are going to outline him. So we're going to just take our pin and go around his outline. I'm going actually on the card, so just to one side of the fabric. So I'm not actually on top of the fabric with this as I outline him. And this just helps add a little bit of definition to your reindeer bird. If you get it on the fabric, it will bleed into your fabric a little bit. So just be aware of that as you're going around the edge, especially on the edge because it is such an oddly cut edge. I have a little string right there and I'm almost just coloring it black and pushing it down so that it won't show up as being part of the reindeer bird. It'll look like it, it'll kind of blend in with the outline a little bit. And now we're going to give him, I'm going to actually switch to the larger tip for a second because we're going to give him an eye and a wing. So I'm going to put an eye right there. He's going to have a big eye, this one. And a wing. I like to use the wider tip for this one because it does bleed a little bit and because it's you get a thicker line. Um, it can be hard, depending on the fabric you chose, it can be hard for that wing and the eye to show up otherwise. Now we're going to give him a beak. A little beak. And two little feet. Do a little mark there so it looks like he's standing in the snow. And then we're going to give him some antlers. So your antlers, they can branch out any which way, however you want them to. 
think I'm going to have one right here and one here. And then come up this way. And then and now you have a reindeer bird card. So on the inside, depending on what you want, what message you want, it does not have to be Merry Christmas. It could be Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you want. Um, you're going to write just your little message and you can also get stamps and you can stamp your message if you want if you don't have um feel like you have really strong handwriting there it is up to you and then sign it and send it to somebody i hope you guys have fun making some reindeer bird cards and i would love to see what you make you can send those to us at huntsville madison county public library and we would like to see what you come up with for your reindeer bird cards and we'll see you again for another craft soon Thank you.